out of sight and out of mind. Section 101. Slime Extra Strong Inner Tubes have been saving bicycle tires for more than 30 years. Coated with slime tube sealant, Slime's Extra Strong Tubes protect you from nails, thorns, and other hazards for up to two years by instantly sealing punctures. Need a new tube? Slime is here to help. Part 1. Picking the Right Tube. Slime offers a tube for nearly every bike on the market. First, you need to know the diameter and the width of your tire. These are both located on the side of your bicycle tire and are separated by an X. The diameter of your tire needs to be an exact match to what is on the tube box. But because tubes are stretchy, the width of your tire can fit within a range. Check the box and make sure that your tire width is in between the dimensions listed. Next, you must select either a Schrader or Presta valve. Schrader valves are the most common bicycle valve type. Schrader valves are short, sturdy, and standard. If you don't know what valve stem you have, it is likely a Schrader. Presta valves are traditionally found on higher-end bicycles preferred by professional cyclists. Think of the P in Presta standing for professional, performance, and premium. If you have a Presta valve, you usually know it. Part 2. Installing your new bicycle tube. Step 1. Remove any thorns, nails, or other objects from your tire and make sure the tire is completely flat. Step 2. Work one side of the tire off the rim. Tire levers can come in handy here, but are not required to get the job done. Then remove and discard the old tube. Step 3. Slightly inflate your new slime tube to give it some shape. Step 4. Insert the tube valve stem through the rim hole. Then gently insert the tube between the rim and the tire. Step 5. Work the tire back onto the rim, being careful not to pinch the tube. Again, tire levers make this job easier. Step 6. Once the tire bead is seated evenly around both sides of the tire, inflate to the proper pressure. You're ready to go! If you want to replace a bike tire, select a tire of the same size. Size data is shown on the tire sidewall. Before mounting or removing a wheel, read the wheel manufacturer's instructions and get to know the release mechanism. Check the state of the rim and the rim strip. The rim strip must completely cover the rim base. When mounting the tire, make sure that nothing gets inside the tire – sand, stones, etc. – that could damage the tube. For this reason, it's good to always place the tire and the wheel on a clean surface. Pay attention to the tire's specified direction of rotation, as indicated on the tire sidewall. Press one side of the tire completely onto one side of the rim, 
This should be possible on each side of the rim without tools. Keep in mind that tubes also age. For that reason, you should mount a new tube when you mount a new tire. Unscrew the valve cap and the lock ring from the valve. Turn on the valve nut and press it onto the tube. Inflate the tube slightly so that it takes a round shape. Close the valve nut. Place the valve in the valve hole of the rim, but do not yet fix the valve in place with the retaining nut. Insert the tube completely into the tire. Watch that the tube does not crease at any point. Starting at a point opposite the valve, press the loose tire side over the flange of the rim. Make sure that the tube is not pinched between the tire and the rim at any point. Continue pressing the tire over the edge of the rim, moving along at the same pace to both sides of the starting point. If the mounting by hand doesn't work, you will have to use continental tire levers to get the sides of the tire over the flange of the rim. Check the valve. If it is not standing straight up, you have to pull a tire bead out of the rim again and rearrange the tube. To enable the tire and the tube to settle on the rim free of stress, inflate the tire to half the maximum inflation and flex it back and forth over the full circumference of the wheel. Then press the whole valve back into the rim with an energetic thrust and pull it back out again. Open the valve nut. Inflate the tube with a floor pump to the maximum tire inflation pressure, which is shown on the tire sidewall. Check the seating of the tire by examining the characteristic line above the rim flange. The characteristic line should be evenly spaced from the rim on both sides of the tire over its entire circumference. To adjust the tire for optimum use, taking into account the weight of the cyclist and the surface cycled on, you can reduce the operating pressure of the tire from maximum inflation pressure. There is a list in the FAQs under www.conti-bicycletires.com. Never inflate your tire beyond the maximum permitted pressure. The tire could pop off the rim or blow out while you're cycling. Insufficient pressure can cause pinching of the tire. For this reason, you should watch that the indicated inflation pressure range is not exceeded or undercut when using the tire. Continental recommends that you always check the tire pressure in your bike before setting off on your ride. Close finally the valve nut. Check before the onward journey if the braking surfaces are still free of grease and other lubricants.